Hi. Hi. Um, great. Can you zoom in on my before? This is my before. Get a close-up shot of that. Can you see it? In all my glory, 220, 230 pounds. I don't remember how much I weighed, but I was big. And depressed. Okay. Hi and welcome. My name is Shree and I understand you're here to discuss weight loss and how to keep it off. We're also here to discuss the truth about weight loss and what is going on in the United States. And I'm here to tell you that you will succeed after today. If you're trying to lose 500 pounds, 300 pounds, 100 pounds, or just 50 pounds, you will succeed. Everyone is welcome regardless of their situation. If you are homebound and immobile because of your weight, welcome. If you are frightened to leave your house because of your weight, welcome. If you have just a few pounds to lose, welcome. This website is all inclusive. Whether you have 20 pounds or 800 pounds to lose, the mechanism of losing weight is exactly the same. Ind individuals believe that it's easy to gain weight but difficult to lose weight. This is incorrect. When you are eating on a low glycemic eating plan, the opposite is true. On a low glycemic eating plan, it is extremely fast and simple to lose weight and difficult to gain it. It is extremely simple once you learn to do this, and you can do this. I understand the fear, the panic, and the sense of loss of control. I understand the feeling of wanting to give up. I understand the feelings of helplessness. After today, you will no longer be helpless. Remember the movie Alive? There were 16 stranded men and women stuck in a fuselage in the Andes Mountains in the snow. They were stuck and dying off one by one. Remember when they got the news that the rescuers had called off the search? One of the men said, I have good news. They called off the search and everyone panicked. Then the gentleman said, it means we're going to get out of here ourselves. Two men walked off that mountain and brought rescue to the remaining survivors. You are a survivor and you will succeed. You are going to make it. I can show you how, but you have to do the work. You will lose weight. This is how the program works. You are going to be given the tools to lose weight. What you do after that is up to you. I am not a doctor or a certified nutritionist, but we, me and friends and family and some of my clients, all actually all of my clients have lost weight. With the exception of one, she couldn't get off the sugar. And I'll talk about that, that later. But you can solve the problem too. I've tried countless diet fads, and of course they did not work. I tried low-fat diet back in the 80s when everyone was on the low-fat craze and everyone gained weight and got depressed. It did not work. Body solutions, two tables before bedtime, two hours before bed. That didn't work. I gained six pounds. Um, diet pills, fat blockers. Uh, papaya enzyme, that didn't work. The, the manufacturers were making a $100 bottle of pills with uh, papaya enzyme. And it was like some kind of a Hollywood diet secret. And that was not true. It did not work. I think I gained weight on that one too. A leading brand diet shake, which is loaded with sugar, that did not work. I think it has 18 grams of sugar. So the next time you go buy that special diet shake, Check the label for sugar, because if I'm not mistaken, it's either 14 or 18 grams of sugar. I was blown away when I saw that. And I was drinking this stuff. I tried, I tried to lose weight doing that. Did not work. Diet meals, like over-the-counter diet meals, like bought in the store, didn't work. And a fruit diet, and that's like the worst thing you can do. Um, because fruit can raise insulin, and you guys will learn that. Um, and I felt totally helpless and decided I'd better just accept my fate and um, just remain fat and so I was working out constantly and the weight was not dropping in fact it was going up and the beginning of my weight loss journey began with the Oprah show sometime in 2009 Oprah had a show with Dr. Christian Northrup a woman stood up and asked Dr. Northrup about her thinning hair my antenna went up because I was having male pattern baldness and thinning hair and I was considering a wig Dr. Northrup explained that the insulin from the high glycemic diet and stress hormones combined to make androgen-like hormones and mimic hair loss that men have. I had a whole gap of hair right in here and here. It was like a W and went in a line straight like this and came back and a line right here. It was very, very bad. And then the rest of the hair was just thinning and I thought, you know what, it's time for a wig. 
And actually, I did kind of wear a weave for like maybe six months before, you know, the hair grew back. But uh, Dr. Northrup also mentioned that comfort foods are high glycemic. I must have played that show 30 times trying to fully understand it. In the meantime, I wore a weave to cover the bulk spots. I read 15 books on low glycemic diets and I thought I had the problem nailed. At first, my hair began to grow back and about six pounds fell off. Then I became arrogant and began sneaking sugar into my diet, making up excuses. Well, it's dark sugar, so it doesn't count. Well, it's dark flour, so it doesn't count. Or molasses or honey, so it doesn't count. I would even make these low glycemic oatmeal cookies. And I laugh now at, far, at how far I would go to make up for the lost sugar. Guess what? My hair started falling out again and the weight crept right back up. This time the bald spots were even bigger and I was terrified. I scratched my head in confusion and reread the books and dove in again. I realized if I wanted to succeed, I had to take it all the way. This time I reread the books very carefully and I started to eliminate all table sugar, checking for anything ending in OSE. All flours, that's wheat flour and white flour, by the way, you guys, they both raise insulin levels. No fast food, no potatoes, no boxed foods, no natural sugars such as honey, absolutely nothing processed. It felt really strange because I had to start cooking everything I ate. I eliminated pancakes, fruit juice, muffins, yogurt, bread, potatoes, all white flour, sugar, uh, donuts, cakes, anything sold in the shelf that was boxed was no longer available in my home. I knew in my heart this was the answer. I bought multicolored vegetables, fruit, cheese, whole grains, chicken, pork, beef, brown rice, unsweetened soy milk. That's not the whole list. There's a lot more. I mean, we eat like kings. Look under the, um, the pictures. I think we have a photo album in there and there's like some of the dinners that we eat are like fit for a king. They are absolutely wonderful. Oh, I make the best food. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. We have a training manual, not training manuals, but training videos on how to cook too. So you're going to learn how to cook low glycemic as well as eat low glycemic. Okay, so when I did this, a miracle happened. Not only did my hair grow back, but the weight dropped and the, without any effort and never came back. This concept cannot be packaged or sold. I had trouble sleeping for years and by the third night without sugar, I was sleeping through the night. I felt incredible. I was bouncing off the walls with energy and I still am. It appears as though the body has an extreme sensitivity to sugar. It's like a finely tuned car. You barely tap the gas with sugar and your weight goes up. And for some women, one of the side effects in midlife is hair loss. For midlife black women who use a relaxer, the chemical damage from the relaxer and the high glycemic diet can thin the hair even more. And I have a way to prevent it prevent that. All you have to do is take a, about a cup of conditioner and a cup of um, baking soda and you mix it together like a paste and you put it on your hair and you can lengthen the time between relaxers. There are many side effects to eating sugar and some experts feel that depression is one of them. You cannot sell this information. It is widely available on the web. Diet and weight control experts will have you believe that you have to buy their program to lose weight. This is false. It's this simple. Eliminate the sugar, eliminate the problem. It sounds simple, but it's tough. Sugar is profoundly addictive. Sugar sets off the same excitement centers in the brain as crack cocaine. People will try every avenue to lose weight except the one that actually works. Subconsciously, they feel that they cannot give up sugar. If you are trying to lose weight and you're eating sugar, you are wasting valuable time. I was emotionally devastated when I had to let sugar go and it took one month before I felt stable. After that, it was a cakewalk. People ask me, you don't eat sugar at all? And the simple answer is no. I went through way too much to go back to my old ways. I don't know if any of you are old enough to remember this, but I'm 45 years old. And when I was seven or eight, like back in 1973, we cooked our food every single meal, every single day. We called them TV dinners back then, and they were a big deal. But they were rare, very rare. We would stand around the oven and watch as the foil was removed, 
watching the steam come off the meatloaf and potatoes. It was magic. Now, in most modern families, this is routine. Morning, noon, and night, boxed, processed foods. In order to lose weight and keep it off, you have to cook your food. Manufacturers are dumping sugar in processed food by the ton. Literally, I talk about this in my weight loss manual available under the products tab. This manual is a shortcut and is available as a supplement to this weight loss video series. It will give you an idea of some of the pitfalls you can run into while trying to lose weight and help you streamline the process. In other words, you're not going to go through all the chaos that I went through getting through to the other side because it took me six months to figure this how this works. So it took me six months to figure it out after reading the material. So can you imagine? And I even had situations where I would slow like gain the weight back. I didn't understand about fruit and how that worked. So I get through I go through all that in the book too. And the download ebook gets into a detailed description of the insulin process, fat lock, the profound effects of sugar, the effects of white flour, white bread, emotional eating, how to say no, what to do about sabotage from others, and finally how to once and for all keep the weight off once you reach your goal. It's the Drill Sergeant's Guide to Permanent Weight Loss and it's available under the products tab for $4.99. Okay, great. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this real quick. Okay, you see this? Okay, I'm gonna show you how it works. Most people eat like this in the morning. You know, the cookie cereal. So you're eating cookie. This is high glycemic, all the stuff here. Fruit juice, people don't realize. Even fruit juice without added sugar is high glycemic. Yogurt, that's, it's touted as a, a health food. It is not. It is, it's horrible because it's loaded with sugar. These are all high glycemic. Pie, soda, white rice. Potatoes are off limits. Cold cereal. This list is endless and it breaks down to all refined or processed foods. High glycemic. What it does is you have a baseline for your insulin. So here's your insulin down here. When you're eating this food, the insulin goes way up. It raises insulin and creates a situation called fat lock where it's impossible to lose weight. Okay, that, that's where most dieters are who are trying to lose weight or creating fat locks or they're basically sabotaging themselves. Okay, when you eat um, stuff like avocados, tea, nuts and seeds, unsweetened soy, soy milk, brown rice, chicken, water, Ezekiel bread, a dizzying array of vegetables, cheese, and Greek yogurt, and low glycemic fruit, eggs, it switches to fat burning mode. And what the body is doing is it, it, the, the low insulin releases the body fat and it literally starts to burn the fat very, very quickly off your body. And because you're eating low carbs and low glycemic, it burns what's on your body rather than what you're eating. So that's a very key that you understand that. You can't sell this. You can't sell it and market it, okay? So anyway, so it lowers insulin, releases body fat, unlocks fat to, to streamline weight loss, okay? And the best part of this is you can eat more fat, good fat, okay? So you're not hungry and you have rapid weight loss. One of the worst things about dieters is the fact that they're hungry all the time. And it, it can cause a lot of panic. When you eat this way, you can eat more fat. You're eating the good fats. And so the brain is happy and you feel great. So anyway, I hope that helps. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please leave me a message on the message board. I would love to hear from you. And I'm so looking forward to talking to you. And... Um, you can send me an email or you can send like leave a message, anything like that. And you can call me even. The number is under the information tab. Thank you very, very much. And I will talk to you and I'll see you in the next video. We plan to do more videos and I plan to see you. Thank you.